vehicles a lovely shot of the town because uh, this is a big deal now what's going yeah. to Dublin well, I wouldn't normally go to Dublin and it's great to be in the big city yeah. and have an excuse to be going to the big city to see yeah. your am I on shot. now you are now of alright yeah 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 good you, know, you want to catch it in your natural yeah, sort of yeah. state of, of beauty and relaxation and uh, yeah I should say now, I'm a big fan of yours. I've seen you do the stand up uh, uh, quite a few times now. Always knocks me out. I always think it's a, it's a beautiful uh, set that you've been sort of, you know, you obviously changed over the years, but you've yeah. a lovely, lovely kind of a, yeah. a, a live kind of a gigs going on. For you now, when you're walking down the street, given that you've had a lot of exposure on television through Father Ted, Naked Camera, Savage Eye, I mean, do you tend to sort of be recognised for one particular thing, or is it a general, oh, that's that guy? Uh, it changes, yeah. I mean, it, yeah, I'd say probably 80% is uh, Father Ted. Right, oh, my oh, love. My right. And then another, that's 80, so another f- 15% would be Naked Camera still. Okay, right. So, yeah, right, it'd be right. the Orange Man, particularly. I would get yeah. that a lot at gigs, yeah, like yeah. people would know that those lines. And then the, uh, the Savage Eye, about uh, 5%. Savage Eye is stunning. I, yeah. I think that was the uh, the genuine kind of worthy predecessor to, to uh, um, uh, successor, I should say, to Hall's Victoria Weekly. You know, it just has that kick to it that you yeah. genuinely feel there's great humour in I there, know. but it's also hitting targets right in the balls yeah, too. It was great to do. You know, yeah, it was yeah. great to do. It was just Dave's motivation. It was, you know, Kim went. Right, right. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. But the audience, I think the audience uh, who, who got it loved it. And it was, oh, they uh, did. It had a, 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 a core... Yeah. You know, there off you about 90,000. <laughs> and it went up to maybe 200,000 now and again. Right. But uh, yeah, it wasn't a huge hit, but it was very influential and very yeah, it was critically it. acclaimed. Yeah, yeah, it was great to do. Yeah. And shit as well at the same time. <laughs> it's important to mix it up with Irish. Yeah. You've got you to get a bit of, you know. It's, it can't it's be all good. And, None yeah, of it's all yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. Now, we should, just because of the night that's in it, now you and Joe will be doing your your, uh, uh, your normal sound of routines, but, but the, the fact that you both start in what, what many regard as one of the great sitcoms of all time it's only 25 episodes three years 1995 to 1997 98 whatever it was it, it, uh, three series it, it seems a uh, genuinely kind of part of, of, of sitcom kind of history you know it pops up yeah. in the top tens and all that did you have any idea at the time did, did, did it sort of dawn on you later that oh this is bigger than just like another gig or another yeah it was like so uh, if you talk to Joe I mean the first series came out and it was a modest hit. Yeah. We all loved it. Like I, right. I hadn't even started doing stand up at the time, right. but I loved it. And then the second series came out. Joe got cast. He had no idea how big that would become. But by the time I was in, in the third series, it was huge. Right. So it was a bit like in Extras. You know when uh, Ricky Gervais is playing that character yeah. when the whistle blows, and he sees the people in the audience wearing the wigs and the, right. the slogans. It was like that when I was in it. <laughs> it was huge. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it still bothered me to this day. I, I, I worked with Raymond Arthur and Hot Press, and they said, "Oh, you must come down to the set and all that, and we'll throw you in." And I just, thought, I'm too busy, man. You could have, yeah. Ah, oh, Jesus, now I wish. You could have been I, feasting I, off I'm it like we, me and Joe, yeah. I'd be wearing t-shirts yeah. with that fecker on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for you, I don't know if, if there is a, um, you know, you're wonderful in, in, in Bridget Naiman, and, and you're up, in, you know, you've done a lot of work, Moon Boy. You're, you're, I don't know if there's a certain, you know, kind of area that you feel well, this is this is where I, I'm happiest, or whether it's it's a, a natural thing that you're, yeah. you change around. Eh, stand I'll up tell you that, that uh, it may, if you had a maybe in third place would be acting. It's, uh, I, right. I don't mind acting, yeah. but I wouldn't if if I was told I didn't have to act again, I wouldn't lose <laughs> uh, right. a, a, a minute's sleep. Think of the ifter though. You'd win an ifter. The ifter, yeah. You have to by law. Oh, look, I do it, and I do a little out. thing, and it's grand. Yeah. Yeah. In second place would be stand up. I love stand up, and I had no idea. I, I wasn't a, a fan of stand up before I did it. Right. It was just a way of getting scripts made and a way of getting noticed. Yeah. And so that's that was that's why I love it though. I did. I do love being on stage, and I love that performance. Right. And number one would be writing. If you could just write, if I could write full time, I would. And I a lot of stand ups would be the same. Writing. I thought you'd be very rock and roll. I thought you'd writing. I miss heard that writing. Okay. Writing would be number one that's thing. If I could do that full time, not writing. Right. right, right. Uh, no. <laughs> Actually, well, of course, you're Irish. It's overrated, you know. You know but uh, but writing, I would, I would write all, all the time. I love it. Yeah. And so now, uh, in, in, in the climate, but I'm not known for it. Like it's not like I've made a living or I've done a few <laughs> bits and pieces. But, but the climate being that that you know the Netflix and people like that are, are, are opening the doors to so many yeah. kind of good original ideas and, and giving people a shot. I mean, do you? I don't know whether that's something you're actively kind of chasing or whether it's I just do chase like, things. Like I yeah. go in for rounds of things, but it's hard to get stuff made, especially right. in Ireland. You know. Yeah. It is harder and harder. I should I, I should ask you now when I spoke to you in, in uh, I think it was January February before uh, the the Bray Festival, just just looking at your heroes and you know everyone from Larry David to Laurel Hardy to Woody Allen. But uh, of course, uh, unsurprisingly, not Woody Allen now. No, 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 he's out. He's out. Okay. Yeah. 
and but uh, uh, Jimmy Savile, uh, Jimmy uh, Savile, Harvey Weinstein, yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, Spacey. But I no, there, there was a. I wasn't surprised to find you know Christopher Guest and Gervais and Coogan yeah. and, and Chris Morris, people like that who are yeah. quite subversive. And, and there's a. I'm glad I said all of them. I don't list, remember saying list. it, but that's good. Yeah, yeah. it's a good <laughs> I list. Think, I think I think your missus uh, actually did the list for you. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that I don't know whether you growing up because you said stand up came to you late and all that. You know, was there was there a, a very was it a passion? Was it something that you just, comedy? Yeah, always. Yeah. All right. Yeah, 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 definitely all. It's from, I can remember, you know, I remember like a kid, I was obsessed with Spike Milligan for a time. Boom. Uh, you know, the goodies, they were huge. When yeah, I was a yeah, kid, yeah, yeah. I flipping loved them. <laughs> and Hall's Victorial was huge when I was a kid. Right, There's right. a picture of me when I'm about three and I'm like, that, <laughs> with my hair tied up, like Frank Kelly. <laughs> right. Yeah. I've got so, news for you, you still are really pretty much like that. Just yeah, I know, that. I know. <laughs> but, uh, so I, I, yeah, no, I, I loved comedy always. It was always a passion. And yeah, but the move into making it a, a to, to I don't know whether that was uh, you know you were doing a normal nine to five job and then it gradually came to you I could do this maybe I did or? a normal nine to five job just over there ah, in the okay. Dublin Woolen Mills ah, okay. I can just see it I right, there's right. a tear right. now <laughs> well, like, just there that's a, it's a nor ah, it's a well. whatever the Dublin right you were were restaurant you were, uh, uh, hey I was selling assistant. jumpers I sold okay. jumpers yeah Aaron I hope. Hey, Aaron and you all types, Farrell, everything, you know, oh, crew, okay. I mean, you know, all, uh, you know, every right, type. Right. Yeah. Well, you're a John Kyle Hine like. sort of dream. Like, I think you and an Aaron Sweater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An overload Absolutely, yeah. Tourists. So I did that. I, I had done a master's in history. That's what I was making. Ah, I was interested okay. in history, right. but I didn't know what I wanted to do, really. And it was only in the early 90s when things started. There was a bit of a comedy boom that I thought maybe I could do this. I could try this right. for a living. And was it was it tough because most people certainly in, in, you mentioned acting being yeah you know that that's a, a dreadfully tough profession it's just a small percentage to make a living I guess comedy can be a little bit kinder that, that you're out and about doing gigs on your own yeah but it was it was it, was it was it a long kind of a journey to get to no <laughs> <laughs> no it happened very like just ah, like that really? yeah yeah it did I started in uh, at the end of ninety five and I mean I I don't run a gigs I w some of them were shit and I was thinking right. ah it's not for me. Okay. And then I did one gig in the international. And I told a few stories about my life, my life growing up in Louth, yeah. and uh, it just clicked. Right. And very quickly it happened. Ted right. happened, the Kilkenny Festival. So it happened very quickly, and it was also very cheap to live in Dublin at that time. Right. So my right. rent was like thirty-two euro a week. Uh, you know, you could live very cheaply, <laughs> yeah. and most money went nice. on drink. Hey. So, yeah, it did though. I should I should say just to wrap up now. I, I haven't seen your actors had a few times. Especially in, uh, uh, most recently in Bray, you were slightly disparaging towards the beautiful Greystones. Obviously, completely in, in jest. I do that wherever I go. Okay. I just pick the, the opposite town and so just Shelby want, I want people to like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just there want the people go. to like me. Just so you know, there were some people from Shelbyville in the audience. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it just added a free song to the gig. You That's know, it was good. It. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything currently now? You're a busy man, and, and I don't know whether, like musicians, sometimes just don't have the time to listen to new music. I don't know whether you'd go out of your way with podcasts being such a, a great big source of, of, of yeah. uh, you know, I don't know if there's certain things give you a kick now. Music? No, no, in, in comedy. If there's oh, comedy, things. I think you take yeah. things. Yeah. Not much, really. I'll tell you, we, we're all comedians talking. Right. We, we, we don't tend to go into look at comedy anymore. Right. A lot of comedy is a little poor at the moment, maybe, right. on television. Right. And uh, I mean, the new series of Kirby Enthusiasm has been hit and miss, but yeah. often hit, really sure. good. Sure. And uh, Detectress is back on, Mackenzie Crook said, come. Yeah, it's lovely. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's like uh, a Nick Drake song. Just it is. Into a sitcom. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, uh, but there's not a huge amount else, really. Right. It was awful right. sad. My wife got into, you know, she, she's an artist, she's a ceramic artist. Oh, right. And she listens to music when she's working. So she got into stand up. She got put on Netflix ah, and stand up. Right. And she didn't really like many hangs. She liked Louis C.K. Tragically for her. Um, I would, yeah. You know what? I, I, we won't go into it too. No, deeply, but, no, no. But I think there are certain kind of you know behavioural you know oddities yeah. in people that you know they're not quite crime levels of yeah. of, uh, of just you know. Yeah, I know. Like Catholic Ireland, there's yeah. a lot of twisted um, attitudes towards sex exactly. Here, and, I, and I think uh, yeah. I think hopefully they had some lovely songs. You know, That's true. They were very good. And lovely. Great. Very, very catchy. Well, I I knew Little the words things. every Sunday. I just didn't have yeah. to think about. It. I knew the yeah, words. I know. I know. Song. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, but I, it I, is difficult, but, it yeah. Is, but, but yeah, but there's less and less, uh, you know, I, I, it's not something I, I consume that much, right. you know, right. comedy. You yeah. know, you watch dramas and shit like that, you know. Sure. And, uh, and also the uh, the old, um, actually, I won't, I won't mention his name, uh, young uh, Cronenberg, he had that great line about, you know, comedy is tragedy plus time. Yeah. I mean, there's comedy in everything and there's tragedy in everything. You know, just that idea yeah. that... A flat tire today is funny tomorrow, you know. Yeah, it is that. It is. Yeah, it yeah. always changes yeah. and things swings and you know, That's it. That's roundabouts. It. So you're quite dark and deep, really. Yeah. I knew it. I knew yeah, it. Yeah, I yeah, could yeah, tell. Yeah. I could tell. Absolutely. Yeah. Lovely job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>